Okay, good evening and welcome to it. This is Chess and Wine, and you are tuned in to Chess Raider. Chess Raider with Eddie Pila and Vundo Messiah discussing what's under our Chess Raider for the week as we update you as to what we find very interesting as to what's happening in and around South Africa, chess wise. Messiah, good evening and welcome to it. Yeah, lovely to be here again. Uh, and I'm looking forward to discuss some of the things we have on the line for today. Awesome, awesome. What's on your radar, Messiah? So on my personal radar, I guess I'll, I'll just start with me. I'm looking to play some tournament, mm -hmm. hopefully, in two, three weeks or so. So I'll, I'll be... Awesome. I'm still retired. I'm still retired, but I'm just going to see. You know? I'm just going to test, feel <laughs> the waters, and, and maybe try and pass 2,000 feet. Eh? Um, that's are you playing idea. a tournament in Turkey, a tournament in South Africa? Where are you playing the tournament? In Turkey, in Turkey. Right now I'm here in Turkey, so no. I'll be playing here. There's some nice awesome. open, so we shall see. That's, that's what all I'm right. doing. All right, all right. <laughs> and on my radar, politics-wise, my goodness, we have the list of delegates from the provinces who are going to be voting for us bringing in ushering in our new chess sa executives we are going to be announcing that for each and every province and play home of course that's what's uh that's what's coming up <laughs> anything else messiah or are we just gonna shoot straight to it i think we can shoot straight into it yeah um i think you're more informed so you could tell us like a little bit about the process and like what needs to be done how the people were selected and then what happened from now on all right. So there was a communication from FIDE. I think when they announced that they um, have now obviously come to a decision that they're going to have the elections on the 27th of, on the 25th of November. And they invited provinces to obviously send in the list of delegates, two delegates per province, which is usually in most cases, the president and the secretary of the province. But this time they didn't say they want who exactly. So what they said is that two provinces can send two players, but they need to have a meeting, a virtual virtual meeting held by the provinces or via Zoom, via your teams, school teams, and so forth, where all the stakeholders of the chess community, whether the representatives from the regions, representatives from clubs, or even the executives from what the from from the provinces themselves, could be obviously present in the meeting and elect and vote for two members to represent the provinces. It could be mm -hmm. anybody, even if it's not the president or the secretary, but whoever, whoever that the delegate or that the provinces or the attendees of the meeting feel um, uh, would represent their interests the best, right? Okay, so I'm aware that obviously uh, all, the, all the nine provinces were supposed to do that, including Playcom, the Players Commission. Players Commission, we've all attended. I'm sure you remember you attended. We attended the meeting. Playcom yeah. also was able to elect there are two members that they're going to send to represent them. But then I believe that all the other provinces have done that. Yeah. So we have lists. We have uh, eight out of nine provinces who have sent the list. One province has not sent their own two players, I mean, two representatives. And that is the Orange Free State. And remember, I, I've mentioned mm -hmm. a number of times that there are three provinces that have failed to meet the good standing criteria. But I mean, again, FIDE did explain that since it's a bit challenging for some provinces to be able to meet the good standing criteria, they would have, they would be accommodative and just understand what challenges the provinces have been facing. So some provinces were on 0%, some provinces were on 20 30%. So some of those provinces that failed to reach up to 90% were the Eastern Cape, uh, the Free State, and um, what is this other province? This province, in Pumalanga, our oh, home man. province. So yeah, so all these three provinces <laughs> had challenges meeting the good standing criteria. Number one is, I think the, the one thing that is... Um, are common with all three provinces that they haven't had elections for executive committees since COVID with those three provinces. Or even since before yes. COVID, I'm, so, I'm sure. So not, not since COVID, but since before COVID. So yeah. in Pumalanga, we haven't seen any executive since after COVID. There's been, there hasn't been no, no executive committee. Um, the Eastern Cape, they've had a um, interim president, which is Luzu Gondenise, and an interim committee. At least they've been functioning as an interim. And the Free State, apparently there's a um, um, guy called Tediso Ramobulo Ramodo. Hey, I'm going to mess up people's surnames. But yeah, I just got the name now. Yeah. And I, 
<laughs> when I inquired about if we orange if free state, I hate the fact that I always think of saying orange free state when I think free state. And orange free state is the apartheid time free state. You remember oh, that? Oh, okay, that's where that comes from. You know. I, I was <laughs> hearing this reference. I'm orange. like, mm, why orange? Why orange? <laughs> Oranya, what's happening? Get back, <laughs> so you see, so, so the orange was put out, was put out of the free state, and then it went and, uh, and stood alone. That orange is now alone as Oranya. Ah, <laughs> it's okay, now it's, now it's the free state. state. Okay, I see, I see. I <laughs> now see. it's just the free state, right? It's a democratic mm -hmm. free state. But then the free state does not have any. Uh, the free state is not going to be able to exercise their uh, their voting rights. So two votes have already been lost from the free state. Because they haven't sent delegates. Yeah, I don't know. It's very Is odd. It... It's very odd because there That's are some odd, people right? who are super invested, like in Chester. Um, there are some exactly. long-time IAs over there. There's some really great people. Beat Fanze, Obende, Devanar. The E, the chess community there. What's going there on? Is. Yeah, the chief abbot of, 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 of the recently held Mojo, Mojo event, yeah. Ben Devanar, right? Yeah, he's yes, also from the free from, state. He's from the free yeah. state, and he was involved in the politics and at some point. I don't know in what exactly. Form, yeah, I think he's also in the AOC, the Abitur's and Organizers Commission. Yes, I believe. Yeah, he's also involved there. So yes, so there's also the University of Free State, which uh, Puma Remover are a part of, and they have tournaments there. They've got chess activity there, right? <laughs> yeah, and I think they're planning to go to the US yeah. as well. That are coming up. Like there's there's actual chess there. There's players there. Uh, Players, it's, it's, it's crazy. No from there. Mm. Yeah, uh, so that's that. And um, the other province, which one did I mention? Uh, Eastern Cape, obviously, they've got representatives. So they were able... And the funny thing is that, obviously, me, I'm, me, I'm in Pumalanga, right? I'm an active player in Pumalanga. And I see mm -hmm. that there's representatives in Pumalanga that have been sent. <laughs> there's two player, two people who have been sent to represent Pumalanga. And I don't remember seeing an invitation to a meeting on Zoom, on Skype, on uh, Google Meet, or anywhere. <laughs> so no meeting of such nature was created. But then, boom, two people are, are, are sent to uh, that kind of, are now proclaimed delegates of the Mpumalanga uh, province. I don't know, because Mpumalanga hasn't had elections as well. And since from COVID times, we've had an interim president who is uh, Philip Palani who yeah we only know as the interim president so that's uh, or from that point as well like so that's crazy and yeah i think he was the one who was meant to call for that um meeting or maybe send an invitation because we are in a number of groups with him and he's never mentioned anything and that's a funny thing is that he hasn't been able to call the meeting but he's been able to write an email to all chess stakeholders in the province and say what his challenges were and obviously state that we they were not able to uh call to what to i don't know to organize a meeting uh remember i mentioned that last time that he was saying ah, yes, that people don't respond day. to him in groups yes yes, 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 yes. i don't know if that so was on podcast to, uh, or if that was <laughs> but yeah you did say and that. I, actually i think it was on podcast there was it oh, not? okay okay uh, i think it was yeah yeah so um, yeah so we had that issue have you ever met him he is uh yeah, I think what I've, I've met him. I I even wrote because <laughs> I, I was with him in uh, what was that province? Yeah, I was in the Western Cape. But yeah, we were in Cape Town. I think a year or two, two years ago for the schools chess championships, uh -huh. where I think was the first time that I actually spent a whole week with him. Where um, we yeah, we had some differences. I wrote about it. I even spoke about it in 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 in, in other videos in the podcast. Where I said oh, really? uh, he was uh... <laughs> no, I, I, I mentioned I, I I spoke about the guy a few times and uh, yeah, what did he do, Gambi? He I don't know what him. he I took shoes him. from from a player. <laughs> you've you've been to the national player. schools. <laughs> yeah. You should read that. So I'm gonna be like I'm bringing up all dead. No, but the case was that he was wearing a size eight, and there was a kid who was wearing a size eight, right? So they brought okay. shoes. Uh, they built, they brought the team's attire. So when the uh -huh. kid couldn't find shoes, so him and the the the, the president of school chairs were yeah were the first to get to the clothes right the the team's uh, attire. Okay. So they okay. picked the, they picked their sizes first, and then what was left they threw to the players. But then the players couldn't find their shoe sizes. He refused to give the player the same shoe size that he was wearing that they were supposed to wear. So that's why I even asked him then, are we here for you or for the players? 
Because if the priority should be the players, not you. <laughs> Yikes. That seems like a rather embarrassing story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So uh-huh. yeah, I think uh, <laughs> so yeah, the issue or the challenge is that now nah, man, you are here for your own self-interest and not for the interest of the players. So that was my impression of him from then on. So I don't know, mm. but yeah. So so now I'm wondering whether now he decided that hey, if I call a meeting and I ask people to vote the delegates, they might not vote for me. So I might not get a chance to become a delegate and go. <laughs> but let me find a way around that. <laughs> All right, all right. And you said two delegates, right? So who was the second person, I guess, that he talked to? So the funny thing is, I don't even know if he if he talked to him because even the way that the, the man's name has been written, it doesn't look like he's aware that he's been sent as a delegate. So <laughs> it says from Pumalanga the delegates are Philip Palane and Pumalani Maluleke. And I'm assuming that they mean Fumelani Maluleke. That's Fumi Maluleke. That's Fumi, yeah. <laughs> But then now, I, I don't think he would accept that his name be written like that. It says Pumalani, if you see. <laughs> so that means he was probably not spoken to. Because again, Pumi's also been not been very active in chess. But I think in the last two, three years, I've only met him in one tournament. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> so again, it's, it's, it's just sort of crazy. And I know, like in the new chess community, people that have been playing for the last year or the past year or two, there's a lot of people that don't know who Fumi is, who Fumi Maluleke is. But anyways, so he was the last president before COVID as well. Mm-hmm. And then um, after his uh, exit of whatever nation, I remember, then um, Palane was appointed the interim. <laughs> so, so yeah. I don't know, man. I I I, I don't know. <laughs> so Mpumalanga, it's that way for Mpumalanga, and I'm sh- I'm sure there's a lot of people that have have been active in chess in the province who would have obviously would have loved to take part or at least be involved in the decision making of who like goes who? to represent the like province. Who? Like who would wanna? Like who would wanna? And I'm thinking was Chris Smith as well has been holding tournaments in the province. I know okay, Karen Dalia has been very active as well in the Tanzania yeah, region. Man. And I know there's a club, there's a club in Komazi, with obviously we, we, we've been having a lot of tournaments with as well. Mm-hmm. In Komazi Chess Club, it exists. There's a Mobella Chess Club, it exists. Mobella holds tournaments as well. There's Emalatheni Chess Academy in Pumalanga. Emalatheni Chess Academy, the executive day, the people, with, they're involved in chess as well. Not to mention myself as well. I've also been very involved, but I mean, I wouldn't want to be a delegate. But again, I think I'm, I'm thinking that it would be best that they, at least the province has a say, the chess community of the province, you see what I mean? Have a say in who goes and casts our vote. Because now our vote has been sold, probably. But I'll come back to that story. Because I've got yeah. an interesting story as to who we're selling the vote to. I know who we're selling the vote to. And I'll tell you why I think that. I'm here for this. This is what I'm here for, the drama. All right, let's just let, let's just announce. Can we just announce the like the do, list, you mind, okay. do you mind announcing the the names? Yeah, the list. The names. Let me just pull it up. Let me see if I can get it on my phone. The names, the names, the names of the oh, delegates. the province. Say again. Names of the delegates for the province. Yes. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so, list in people and let us know if you know who you who is representing you in your province. In Masai, I'm, yes. I'm going to mispronounce a lot of these, but forgive me, please, guys. Uh, Limpopo, I'll, we have Happy, yeah. Happy Teboho Malachi. He's, he's been there for a long time, been a player, been an arbiter. We know Teboho, um, yeah. Yeah, we're familiar mm-hmm. with him. I think everyone is fairly familiar with him. And yeah. then a name I do not know, Simon Kekan. Simon, Simon Kekane, I also Kekane. don't know. Simon Kekane. Maybe I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So, yeah, that's who's <laughs> representing Limpopo. That's Limpopo. That's the two. Okay. No, I was expecting to see my home holiday in Limpopo, right? Uh, yeah, at least, you know. I was expecting. Or someone but maybe you'll come in as a candidate. We or maybe you'll come in as a candidate. These you don't know. Those, yeah, we shall see. This is a different form of chess now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. <All right. laughs> they will not see it coming. Yeah. In Northwest, we have uh, Carol Lefayedi. Lefayedi. Yeah, I think that's how it's pronounced. Carol Lefayedi. Also a name I'm very familiar with. It. I don't think I've, I've met. I don't think I've met Carol, but uh, very familiar with this name. And the West. Northwest, extremely yeah? cool. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. so it's Carol Lefieri and Sidiso Morekis, right? Yes, I'm familiar with Carol, and I don't know the second name. Say Sidiso Morekis. Morekis, you don't sell us Morekis, because hey, hey, Scary Rekis from Morekis. But yeah, oh, people are going to be casting the votes there now. That's the North West. Yeah. That's where Bojanala is. So North West is the home of the Bojanala Chess Federation. Yep. And that's the only region. So you see now, we don't need you to spell us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
I think in my involvement. Oh, so has he just um, has he just been there? In my involvement in Expo. Um, yeah. As a yeah, uh, acting secretary, uh, he. Mm -hmm. I got the impression that he had been in chess for a while, particularly down in the Western Cape. Um, yeah, he has. He's, that I, I believe he's a mm. lawyer as well. He is. Like, I'm a on that. Freak yes. And um, he's yeah, a he, he was yes. always very vocal and very strong about his opinions. And I think he asked uh, yeah. for quite a lot of documents at some point. I don't know. Though. I might be wrong. Do you think he's interested in becoming the president? Freak? No. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I think he's more, he would be more interested in just, yeah. I guess, having the right thing happen or having what he wants to see happen. Andre might be interested. Lux might be interested in becoming president. <laughs> Andre might be interested. Yeah, might Andre be. might be interested maybe. in becoming president. It maybe. Might be. Maybe. Mm. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe people are busy campaigning. We'll see. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's that. Next. Uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, like, but 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 for, for the Western Cape, who do you think? Who do you think is a potential candidate for Western Cape? Mm, the Vox, definitely. Yes, Andrew Vox. Yes, uh, the Vox. Yes. Vox. More than that, who who would be there? I think they, there's a lot of people there who could serve on Expo. Honestly, like uh, Lyndon Boa, uh, awesome, amazing. And he's uh, been a president uh, before, didn't he? I think he's, he's been, been a president. Before. I think he's a former. No, I don't know exactly, but yeah. I know he's been on Expo before. Yeah, Lyndon. Ideal yeah. Humans, um, what to as well, I feel like could be an You laughed figure. the last time I mentioned the idea of what to become president. <laughs> Not president. I think what to is a good balance. I don't think what to do it, I don't feel like it suits what to man. To do admin but to be an executive, you mean right? To be an executive, the head coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say as head coach, yeah. Maybe because the head someone coach, who can the national head coach. Who can balance mm. as Playcom, for instance, as head of Playcom? I feel like you'd be amazing. All right. To spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Opinion, yeah. No, that's opinion. true. But yeah, Cape Town, a lot of, lot of legends, really. A lot of yeah. people who could. Yeah, There's a lot of people in hey, Cape Town. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's move on from Cape Town. Wait, hey, no, he's on Cape Town's case. Let's uh, next, next province. Pumalanga, we talked about. <laughs> um. No, we'll, we'll come to back say? to Bolang. Let's go to Eastern Cape. Uh, you want to go to Eastern <laughs> Cape? Right. Eastern Cape, it's Lozuko. Ndinese. 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 Yep. We know Ndinese. We know, know Lozuko. We've had an interview with him on the show. Yep. Yep. And then Pintre and... Sturman. 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 Sturman, Sturman, which, uh, which is it? Sturman, 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 whatever. I think yes. So that's the two. That's Stur. the two. I don't have too much to say. Um, Eastern Cape, yeah, as you ah. mentioned, has its own issues. And yeah, hopefully after this election, mm. we'll get some some clarity, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. Harding. Yeah. There's a lot of, the, again, a, 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 a well, in, well and alive chess community in the Eastern Cape as well. We know that. Yeah, definitely. So, definitely. Yeah. And How they? They're, they're good, good chess hubs. Uh, for sure. For yep. Sure. All right. The other big baller, How Teng. And How Teng ah. decided on Karen Lo and Vicky Magoo. Karen Lo is the president of, isn't she the president Tuan. of, uh, what's it, Tuan Chess, right? Yes. Yes. And Vicky Magoo. President of uh, Houting Chess. I Chess. Yeah, he might be president <laughs> of Houting Chess. He is president of Houting Chess. He is. Yeah, you sure? Yeah. It's um, yeah. But again, who are the candidates in your mind? Who are the potential candidates for Houting? Uh, From Houting. For talking like for, uh, for yeah. Expo. Yeah. Uh, uh, definitely Vicky. <laughs> Vicky would be interested. <laughs> Vicky would be very, very interested. The Vicky definitely. Very... Now Vicky is definitely interested. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak about Vicky with you just now. Continue. Yeah, Vicky is definitely <laughs> interested for sure. Karen, hmm. hmm. Karen, I think she's done a good job with with uh, Zwane, and she knows, you know, how these things uh. go. And my feeling is that when you know yep. how these things go, you don't really wanna like take on more responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine where you are. Um, yeah. I don't know if she would be interested though. 50-50. I hear you. Um, and then outside of that, who oh. are the like big candidates who would actually be interested? 
Mm. But you don't think um, Hendrix would be inter- Hendrix would be interested as a candidate? Nah. Last I spoke to him, because he has a chance. I mean, Judy, if get... mm. I think he would have an interesting chance. Yes. Yeah, if he were to. Mm. Yeah, um, run for it. But last I spoke to him, I don't know, but I can. I don't know. Mm. I felt like he, mm. yeah, he might have not been up for the idea, just because of all the 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 trouble, I guess, the, that they went through the past four or five court. years, that back and forth mm. and the court cases and whatever, you know. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. But it, it's mm-hmm. possible. Mm-hmm. Possible. But yeah, actually, uh, who is that? You said the president of Jobe. Hmm? The, John, the, the president of Johannesburg, oh, John, oh, Jobek Metro. What's his name? You said it was, uh, uh, is it former Sean. president or current president? I think it's Sean Leverton. Yes. Yes. Leverton. No, 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 yeah. No, no, no. You don't think he'll be interested? No, no. no. Sean no. won't move to Xbox. <laughs> no, no, no. He's got better things. All right. <laughs> Who does it? Oh, how? Oh, oh, who do you want to be in president? 22, 23. Is it 23 now? It's like 23, 34 or something. Massive. Jeez, I haven't checked. Show. Sure. So you see, for the sake of Caleb, he might be interested because if he's already involved, then he would probably want to go further and say, "Hey, let's." <laughs> or he thinks he's doing enough for him in Gauteng and in, 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 in being involved in Gauteng only. Yeah, I think he's he's, he's fine. He's fine. Though. Um, I imagine that if <laughs> we, if things were run properly, he actually just uh, wouldn't be involved. You know, um, I think he's only involved because. Okay. Things are being, yeah, things are kind of a mess right now in, in chess in SA. I guess not only the chess. Yeah. So tough. You see, yeah. that's what I'm saying, that maybe now since it's a mess in, in, in national national as well, so maybe his, his involvement will also lend a hand if you were interested. You see? Because that's why you need people like that, right? Not people that can be uh, bought mm-hmm. <laughs> easily. Yep. Not people that could be swayed by promises of whatever and whatever. Mm-hmm. People that don't need, don't want for anything, but they want things to just go accordingly. They don't yeah, mind yeah. if they get hated for their good decisions and they just stand by them. They can defend them. We want people like that, though. What about people who are no backbone? He'd be amazing in the room. Sway with the wind. You see, that's what I'm saying. So that's the people but that would set the chess South Africa straight. But that's the kind of people that we need to set South Africa, chess South Africa straight. If you're saying is what you say he is and how he is. But anyways, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, see, on to the next also. province. Uh, mm. ah, an K- interesting one. KZN, KZN. I had some encounters. Why is it an interesting one? Uh, Why is it interesting for me personally? Yeah. Um, they, they were very vocal about... Yeah. Me and my my being on the expo as acting secretary at that time, and, yeah. uh, sent some. Let me be careful in how I phrase this. Some interesting messages. Don't be careful. Uh, Don't be careful. No, why are you? Being the careful? grammar was not great, no but you allowed. could feel the emotion. You know, huh. they were they were not happy. Um, yeah, they were definitely not happy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, actually, it would be fun to talk to them one day. Have you heard any of them? On the I've heard Linda Guth and Gubane on the podcast. So I heard Linda Guth, yeah. But Ayanda, yeah. Kumet, I thought Ayanda was in the school. Wasn't Ayanda in school's chess? I have no clue. And, but last I remember, when we were having some some meetings to try and, mm. uh, yeah, I guess we get these elections to happen, the, the representatives of 4K mm. then were always uh, these two, Ayanda Kumet and okay. Linda Gubane. Jesus. All right. All right, now I see. So obviously, Linda Gould there for president in case at end. You think they'll be sending him as their potential candidate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who else? Though? Who else do you think is what is the, has um, case at end. the capacity? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I don't, I don't think both of these. Maybe Ayanda would be interesting, like on some other role. And on on mm-hmm. Expo, uh, but uh, I don't see them as having the capacity. At both for so becoming president. This is my opinion. Yeah, of becoming. Yeah, president. yeah. And I yeah, don't yeah. know that they would be good picks. Even again, my personal opinion. Don't kill me for uh. it. Um, then who has the capacity? I think there's a lot of parents down there. Uh, uh-huh, but anyway, we're not parents. looking for parents. Ah, yep. <laughs> who are very um, involved. And very involved, could be very capable. 
They should join a club, those parents. They should join a club, those parents. And maybe one day become the, they should join a club, a chess club, and uh-huh. become um, members of a chess club and and learn how to play chess, play a tournament, and then understand what they're speaking and talking about. And then one day, maybe they'll be running for regions and come up the ranks. Uh-huh. So you're, you're off the Oh, maybe you learn, or maybe become arbiters. You see, they can also learn and become arbiters. Because again, if they become arbiters, then they are no longer just parents, right? Mm, fair enough. Uh, again, you off the yeah. thought that uh, parents are not are not supposed to be involved, like politically. Because there are too many parents. Because anyone is a parent. Anyone can be a parent. Why should they be involved just because they're parents? Like I could become a parent. I'm a parent already. No, I could become a parent. I'm a parent already. So mm-hmm. anybody with a child could take their child to a tournament and that qualifies them for a voice. It qualifies, for, it qualifies them for a voice. I, I don't know that it qualifies them for, to be on the expo, but they have a voice. For yeah, time. but for, yeah, but obviously because they're the player's voice, right? So when they speak mm-hmm. on behalf of that one child, but they can't speak on behalf of anybody else by virtue of becoming parents, unless we have a parents' organization. So they mm-hmm. qualify for a voice on behalf of that one child, just like you have a voice for yourself as a player, right? Okay. That's where it ends. Yeah, that's where it ends. I mean, it doesn't... Mm. Unless we want to create a, a parent's uh, role where they could be buying snacks for the players when you're the and making sure that they get hydrated. Parents a parent's commission, commission of course. <laughs> yeah. But actually, I think most of like the administrators um, across the country have been like, huh? chess parents, right? Like, Kendra, I think, started out also. Yes, most of them were involved. Then... They, they started out as chess parents, yes, and it's all crazy. And that's what got, but obviously, there are some challenges, which we've already, obviously tried to discuss a few times. There are mm-hmm. some challenges where, whenever there are children, don't make it, for instance, for an event. For say, for instance, there's a trip to um, the Western Cape to play the provincial, the, the, what, the nationals, and their child does not qualify and they have to go. They would want to make sure that their child goes. Whatever, yeah, by, by, by whatever means. Or if their child failed, then be like, ah, no, I can't go since my child is not going. Then they are pulling out. You see, they can't mm. be dependent on, they are not dependable as parents. Some of them, as soon as their child finishes school or stops playing chess, lose interest in chess, they leave chess as well, you see. Yeah. Because primarily they are there for their kids. They are, because primarily that's what they are, parents. But I think so that is why you don't need just right? parents. Sometimes they're transformed. Sometimes it's what? Sometimes that transforms beyond. They what? That. After their parents leave, I mean, sometimes and then they see it's after the kids leave. Some of them do stay and do a good job still. No, it's a good in inter- the thing. That's a, that's a thing. Cause for some, I mean, we all get introduced in chess in many different ways, in various ways, right? So some yeah. of us they become introduced to chess as parents, but when they get there, they fall in love with the game. They fall in love with the community. They fall in love with everything that's happening around, and they get involved not only as parents. You see now that transforms. That's the transformation where the person is no longer just a parent. They become maybe now a an, a chess coach or whatever, an, an arbiter, or they become a player themselves, or they become an administrator with a whole lot of experience that you can't just cut them and say, ah, but you were a parent. No, but I mean, if they've been an administrator and they've been active and they've seen, you know, they learned, they've learned the ropes. So that's mm-hmm. good enough. Yeah, and they know that they're no longer just there for their kid. Yeah, so obviously there's a transformation, but I mean, but to be selected primarily on the basis that you are a parent, ah, it's crazy. Well, not because everyone is a parent. Yeah, you can't set you apart. You also can't just be selected primarily on the basis that you're a player, unless maybe it's for players. You're a parent, and you're an accountant. No, but I mean, you you obviously have uh, but you uh, you have an automatic candidacy to run for club, uh, whatever thingy, uh, executive if you are a player. Mm. Yeah, turn up. L- I know like, if you're for, a parent. For that example, um, you're a parent and you're an accountant. Doesn't that give you some, like, uh, let's say, buying power to to vie for the position of uh, finance on the board? Because otherwise, no, that's that goes the thing, to, though. The hey, problem is that no, like, you could you be know, maybe you'll find me in finance. into assisting, but okay. you what? The no, problem I, is that you end I, up I finding can tell, me I can in see that or some other pro- politician type yeah. in finance when, you know, you see, but you're appointed. About yeah, but, but the king, you see the parent could be there to ask you, but the parent could be there to assist you. Co-opted as obviously your assistant because you're the one that is elected. So someone cannot be elected just because they're a parent and they know certain things. If it's a chess community, if it's a chess, cl- I, I don't know, man, like people need to, I think the, the first, first and foremost, it should be a chess player. 
because you the in i don't know the i do know the interest the finance, uh, what about the finance there's something part? deeper when you are playing what about the finance but part? that's what i'm saying because uh -huh. no but again if with the church committee for instance would you call anybody just because they've got a child and they're an accountant and they're uh, drunk uh, the criminal and whatever just because they know the finance part they work as a finance or something you see, no, you're and then you call them to, why, to be part of the church the committee the drunkard now? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Whatever they're doing is in, it's, it's not in line. <laughs> it's not. And, and you know, I don't have a problem with drunkards. But now I'm saying that the person <laughs> is not a church person. Oh, you see what I mean? But so listen, they are child there goes in there, a meeting. And they're just this. neutral. Exactly. They are child, and that's what I'm saying. Their child goes to the church. My child yeah. goes to the church. And I am good at um, uh, finance. And the church yes. needs a treasurer. A finance guy. So yes. I can go and stand and you're for neutral, what? right? It's not like he... I'm not yeah. neutral. I'm obviously, my, I've got my own lifestyle and the church is trying to pro promote its own lifestyle. And my lifestyle and the church's lifestyle, I know. I... <laughs> but these are not equivalent now because the parent is just like a parent. It's not... No, they see, they have, they've got their own interest. The parent might be a fan, a rugby fan. They might be, oh, yeah, congratulations to South African rugby team. This, the book is... The parent might the be way. a rugby... Yeah, by the way. The parent might be a rugby fan or a rugby player. And then now we're bringing them into chess. You see now the discussions when it's an argument finance. within that committee. No, but they won't just do finance. They'll have an opinion. Because you see, they, 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 do have a just doing finance. they do have a vote on exactly. issues. You see yeah. what I mean? Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> but I All think right, that's next we are talking about. I think that's better than having me being the one doing the finance. Co-opted though, that's what I'm saying. Because I mean, you have the right as a committee to co-opt someone who's qualified for the position that you can't do for yourself. It's for a role that you can't fill yourself. Yeah. So that co-opted person does not have a full vote like everyone else. So then, why not just put that person in? Why must they be like some sort of middleman or proxy? Because essentially, that's what you're saying. We need someone who's a player, who's a proxy. No, because again, they are not a member. And we need members. And only members can stand for positions. Non-members cannot stand for positions. They can register. If things were done right. Friend. No, 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 no. You know, let me tell you something. The problem is that things haven't been done right in chess for, in South Africa for a very long time. True. Because, for instance, in order for someone to become a member of the a regional committee, they need to belong to a club. And that is why you can't have a parent unless a parent belongs to a club. You couldn't have a parent becoming a member of the, uh, the executive of a region if things were done accordingly. Because when, mm -hmm. when that parent comes in, they don't come in as a parent. They come in as a representative from a, from a club. We don't see parents anymore. Fair enough. Because everyone in the club is a parent if they're grown up, if they're adults, you see. So that is why that parent parent thing it's crazy. To always be what what's the word? Um to be always <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. No, no, no. I'm I'm just trying to think of what what, what we're doing where we always uh target, seem to be targeting parents. But everyone is a parent. Now, when we're talking about parents in chess, it's like we're talking about an alien type of group that is outside of us when we are also parents in chess. It's that, that it, it, there's no place for Saj because everyone is Saj. So there's no way that we could be talking about parents as if we're not parents. Okay. <laughs> but okay. If, we're, if things were done right, there would not even be Saj talks because there'll be representatives from the club coming in to there'll vote for the process, region. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, so everyone that is there in the region is there because they come from a certain club. Whether they're a parent or not, it doesn't matter. So anyone being a parent, it's a plus. They're there, then obviously they're serving in the interest of the club because the club benefits their own children. Mm. Listen, you see? I'm still so now being a parent becomes a plus. I'm still but, very no, much no, no, pro-parent. The pro yeah? Yeah. No, no, you should be pro parent. You can't be against parent. You're going to be a parent one day. I'm a parent as well. You have parents, so you should be pro parent. Pro parent, I'm parent. in, in I'm the chess parent. scene. But I'm not pro, pro parent chess. being involved in administration. No. I'm pro parent being involved in, in, at, in administration. At the collapse. Yeah, because, yeah, because they are players and because they are members of the clubs. So you can't say parents should they not should also be. do that. Yeah, yeah. you're right. But no, Let's no, move no, on I, from I, that. I'm a big fan. I'm a mm. big fan. Also, they pay the most of, most of the money, right? They're the only reason that South Africa has a, some sort of chess economy. You see, because things are done, things are not done right. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, the only reason that parents have a place is because things are not done right. They Federations that do things right, and I always have to point out I'm that in I don't think parents pay anything. No, parents always have a place because they're the ones that bring their kids. But obviously, the kids need to be brought in by the if they are coming from a club, and the kid has to go somewhere. The club co, yeah, the club president or club captain or club um head coach, whoever is the one that's going to be taken. How about the kids that don't have parents? Eh? Because now when we say oh, this is the role for parents, what about the kids that come to the uh, to the tournaments or to the clubs or to the federation without parents? They become left out. No, 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 no. It is. But what about them? Because now if uh, everyone must have something. Step up. Eh? It, Eddie has his own That's a thing. Eddie For balance, the Eddie has to, to represent everybody, including the ones with parents, and their parents must sit down. Mm -hmm. So that everyone... Because now when, when Eddie, Eddie is representing these five kids, and this one kid is being represented by their parent, that one kid feels more special than all the other five kids. But this one's parent must sit down, and they all fall under aid. And then we go forward with them. So these kids all feel equal, because they're all representing one club. They're all representing one federation. No one mm -hmm. is coming there to represent their surname. <laughs> Are you see what I mean? So that's how it should I see be. what you mean. I see what you mean. For balance. Mm -hmm. But as long as things are not done right, we'll have parents. So yes. Thank you for stepping in. You see, we can thank parents for stepping in and filling the gap when administrators are not working or not doing what they're meant to be doing when there's such a gap, a chaos, a, a void within our chess administration and chess um uh, this is a conversation we should yeah. have maybe on, on a, a separate. Anyway, we should dedicate some time to this. I think I think we can make ground here, but I agree to disagree That's... for now. Yeah, and maybe another parent. <laughs> Say again. We should add a parent to that conversation. Parent. But there's too many parents. But there's too many parents. Which parent, which parent are you going to choose? And how are you going to choose the parent? Yikes! We'll think about Play it. Playcom. Let's go on. Thank you. Playcom. Playcom. Yes, Playcom, Playcom is Anzel. W I M yes. Anzel Lopsha. Lopsha. That one is a bit tricky for me to pronounce as well. Um, but yeah, Anzel. And then uh, I am Mabu, <laughs> Johannes Mabusela. Um, I'm very happy that Anzel is there. I think Anzel is all in all just a positive force for chess. You see? Africa, in every way and form. Yeah, Anzel and is Mabu such and... a. Yeah, and we're having an interview next week with Anzel. So I'm Lovely. thinking now, we've already organized. So now I'm thinking the way our Playcom is doing things is actually teaching us how these things are meant to be done. So here's mm -hmm. the thing, right? And I'm sure this is exactly how it's meant to be done with all the provinces. So Playcom called all players, right, to a meeting, mm -hmm. right? And we obviously had the meeting where we selected the two representatives. Mm -hmm. And those two representatives will need to be given a mandate by the players as to who will they be voting for because it's not their personal vote the vote mm -hmm. of the play com players commission same goes for the provinces i believe because the two delegates who have to be selected community of that province will need to be mandated by the chess community of that province to say this is who we are voting for as a province you are not going in there to vote for whoever you like or whoever pays you better. You see what I mean? I see what you so mean. now we've got issues where there. So now there's delegates who have obviously been selected, obviously elected by, by the provinces. They need to go back to their province and ask, who are we voting for as a province? So now it leaves me very concerned with Impumalanga, which did not have that meeting. I think you should be in So that means they were not province. mandated by anybody. No, I, I believe that all the other provinces have done things accordingly. Because when I speak to some people, they tell me that obviously they've held a meeting and they were able to obviously uh, uh, select, select uh, the people that are going to be representing them. But again, it's true. It's true that, they, that whoever is that, that, that has been obviously dele delegated needs to go back and now find out from their province, who are we voting for as a province? Because this, this is a provincial vote, right? This is two votes from the province. Mm-hmm. Because as a church community of the province, we feel that this is who we should be voting for once the obviously once once the delegates have been announced. Once I mean once the candidates have been announced. So now these two that we're getting from Bumalanga or the other or every other two, if they were not elected, appointed, selected by the chess community, that means they're there to represent themselves. 
<laughs> and that's not fair. Yeah, it's not, uh, but uh, that's how it is. What can we say? No, uh, that, we, it, it, it's we, how it's we, happening. I mean, listen, at least, you know, uh, Western Cape, you have Andre Lavax and Fre Freak, right? You guys are heavily involved. They've been mm -hmm. there for a long time. They probably already, like, um, their own vote, personal, whatever it might be, probably already aligns mm -hmm. with what their pro province is looking for. Well, hopefully, I guess, unless there's... Any and they are aware because they're in constant communication with their provinces because they are involved. You see? Yes. yes but yes, now, in Pumalanga, you've got well, Philip Palane and Pum... But in in Pumalang, you've got Philip Palane and Pumulani Maluleke, who have not been involved for a while. So that means their votes are for sale. <laughs> I like how you said <laughs> Fumi's name. <laughs> no, but again, it's not Fumi. Because if it was Fumi, it would be written properly Fumi Maluleke. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a typo. Look past it. Look past eh? it, please. <laughs> I can't look past it. Because if I look past it and I call a man, whose name is not here then he might have a problem with it and say ah how are you going to talk about me when i'm not even there i don't even know that my name has been put forward <laughs> you see yeah, what i mean tough, tough, so i'm tough. not being fair to him yeah but the list that came mm -hmm. out is, uh, is obviously for pumlan and you know the funny thing is that pumlan is my second name my first name actually mm -hmm. i don't know if they were they've merged they they, they accidentally merged two people they, they merged. Maybe they were saying Pumlani Pil and then they say Pumlani Malulek. It's like, like they're so crazy. <laughs> so now maybe they, again because uh -huh. his name is not here, you can't say we're talking about him. Because my name is here, I can't say they are talking about me. So yeah, it's crazy. So okay, in Pumalanga okay, is yeah. Philip Palade and Pumulani Malulek. Here's the thing I was saying I was going to mention. I was going to talk about with regards to Vikimagu and um, Pumalanga. On the twenty okay. second, you remember that you remember that on the twenty third, uh, the provinces were due to submit the names of the delegates. Yeah. With the video, obviously, of the meeting. Yeah. Uh, from the, what the, that virtual meeting, and obviously the minutes. So on the twenty second, I get a call from. No, I'm lying. It's not a call. It was a text from Vicky Magu. He's the president of Chess uh, of Gauteng Sports Confederation and the president of Gauteng Chess. Yes. He fills those two those two roles. So he's now saying, "What's happening with Pumalang? Who's holding the feed the feed meeting in Pumalang? Who's attending the feed meeting?" I'm like, "I don't know. There's nothing happening with the feed meeting in Pumalang. We haven't even been called or invited to say." He's like, "No, but what's, what, what about that guy, um, Philip? Is he not the interim president?" I'm like, "He is, but he hasn't said anything and he hasn't mentioned anything." So I speak to Palane. Hey, Palane, is that meeting happening? What's going on? And he says, uh, what meeting? I'm like, hey, so maybe now Vicky's talking about a different meeting. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know. Isn't it supposed to be a feed and meeting that is happening in, in, in Pumalanga right now? He's like, I don't know of the meeting. <laughs> Are you involved with it? I'm like, I'm not involved with any feed and meeting that's happening, but there's supposed to be a feed and meeting happening in Pumalanga. Are you not aware of it? It's like, no, give me the, send me the link. I'm like, what link? I don't know. I'm checking. Aren't you supposed to be organizing a feed and meeting? <laughs> it was a funny conversation because then I ended that's up nice. believing that there was actually a meeting that is happening and Paladin is not involved. So now I'm questioning, wait, who is involved then? So I speak to Fumi. What's happening? Are you Malulek now? Fumi Malulek. Are you aware mm -hmm. of any such happening? He's like, no, I'm not away. What meeting? I saw, right? It's like, eh, I don't know. Maybe it's a meeting where people are supposed to be up or, or, or selecting the representatives. If you don't know, then maybe there's another chess community within the province that is holding that meeting. So I speak to Lee Samposi, you know Lee Samposi, and I ask yeah. him the same thing. He's like, no, there's no meeting happening. But then isn't there supposed to be a meeting happening in Pumalang? The Samposi states, uh, Lee says, all right, now as far as I'm concerned, I think Pumalang should not be sending delegates. Mpumalanga should not be sending delegates and should not be obviously uh, raising their hand up as a candidate because Mpumalanga has not done, has not been active. And obviously we don't really have any candidates, has not been active in terms of chess and we have, we have failed to reach the good standing criteria. But Lisa Mposi was part of the, yeah, was, he was part of the, the, the meeting, uh, the FIDE Saskok meeting that was called. So it was him, Fumi uh, Leke, and Philip Palane, the three of them went because they said they needed three people. So now the funny thing is that he and it's a very and it's, a, it's a, something I agree with him on on the fact that we should not be sending candidates from Pumalang. I also agree. right. Yeah, 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 that's very yeah. yeah. That's but then again, I say, but 
but to vote no we need to exercise a vote we need to cast a vote we need to have a hand in the what in 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 the in the, in the, in the election of the next executive board the executive committee for Chess africa so our two votes are important we need to vote it's like oh, okay then speak to Poland and find out why is not is he not organizing that meeting i speak to Poland and he says ah eh, it's too late no no but what attempts have you made it's like we can't do it now i'm like if you at least make an effort of creating a link and sharing it with the time and call people and let people know that there's going to be we need to have that meeting happening if they don't attend it's their business then you can continue with your special request of being um uh the delegate even without being voted by the community because i mean he wants to give a bad impression that there's no chess community there's no ch there's, there's chess community in Pumalanga. it's just that there's no proper administration you see what i mean yeah. and that and obviously that uh invitation from fide did not say that it needs the provinces with proper administration it even made way for provinces without executive or administrators to say if there is no executive uh borders there's no executive committee there's no interim president. Even an arbiter can call the meeting, which was Even something that we discussed. That the, ah, yes, yes, it's yes, yes, that, yeah, yes, yeah. that that uh, the, the the letter from uh, Levax was um, contesting engaged. But yes, it was challenging. So now, now, if that was provided for, there's so many players in the province. There's even arbiters in the province. Why didn't Palana call that meeting and at least have those people attend? Because they don't need to belong to any structure. They just need to be players. He didn't. It didn't happen so he wrote his letter to fide the requesting so now there's a funny thing when vicky speaks to me i speak to palane palane tells me that hey Mpumalanga sports confederation is refusing to acknowledge me they don't respond to my, my communications i let vicky know that hey that's the challenge the, our interim president he seems to be not able to get through to Mpumalanga sports confederation i was like vicky says don't worry how think sports confederation is going to speak to Mpumalanga sports confederation and we're going to deal with this <laughs> okay. Next thing I get, I get another text from Vicky saying we are in contact with the Mpumalang Sports Confederation. They will assist Mpumalang. Why like, that quick? <laughs> and then the next okay. thing, Palane is saying, ah, the Mpumalang Sports Confederation has, has given them a date. They're going to meet with them and speak. And yeah, yeah the things are looking good. Quick. So now, here's a funny thing. That's so quick, yes. So now the funny thing is that that vote that they don't want the Mpumalang Chess community to be part of deciding might be going to Vicky Magoo because I know Vicky Magoo is running for president <laughs> because now he's helping Pumalanga you see what I mean as the chess as, as the Houten chess federation he's helping Pumalanga resolve its issues and in return Vicky doesn't do anything for free <laughs> that's one thing I know mm -hmm. so you feel like it's it's favor for favor oh that's Vicky man you know Vicky Vicky, 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 Vicky. <laughs> Vicky would withhold spots. You see this clothes here? Mm -hmm. He would withhold this clothes. And it was so funny how he was in charge of this or the, uh, the attire for uh, Bumalanga, the, no, 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 the national school sports. Yeah. I think uh, in 20, was it in 2016 or 2015 or somewhere there? Which were held in in in, in in um in Pretoria, where people were people were sleeping at the University of Pretoria, some of the players. So Vicky was in charge of the attire. So before he hands you, I think there was some voting that was meant to be happening, and he was campaigning for somebody. I don't remember who exactly. And before he hands you your clothes and your sizes, he would ask you, <coughs> So are you gonna give me your vote? <laughs> He would ask jokingly, of course, jokingly. He was joking. No, 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 he wouldn't ask jokingly. He would like <laughs> straight up ask you. <laughs> if you no, wouldn't give him vote, you will give your vote. If you decided that you're not going to vote for him, he will give you oversized. You will get oversized clothes or sizes that are extra small, things that you would not be able to wear, I tell you. <laughs> but if you work with him. Hectic. <laughs> So yeah, so now that obviously Bumalanga has done that favor, they're gonna uh, have to give him the vote. So yeah, you Vicky so? is running, and Bumalanga is uh, voting for Vicky. I believe so. I don't know unless anything changes. <laughs> but again, who's holding Bumalanga accountable? 
Because remember, Playcom, they will obviously be mandated and they'll be asked to provide proof of who they voted for because they are being yes. sent to go vote for a certain candidate, right? But mm-hmm. Bumalanga, who? But maybe all the other provinces, hopefully, they'll you, report you, to their you're regions. Allowed, you're allowed to appeal. So you're going to appeal and say you don't agree with uh, whatever's happening in Bumalanga. You're personally aware that yeah, no meeting has been held. Yeah? Yeah, no, I think who who should appeal? Oh, I think I think current Talyad should appeal. <laughs> Why not you? I think like, who else these should conversations appeal? I point Why not me? To you and you. No, no, no. Me, me, I wanna I, I wanna I wanna remain on the side as a journalist because I can't report on things and move it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For the you case, see what though, I mean? So I wanna at least be there. Huh? We'll see. Okay. We'll see, we'll see, I'll we'll see. Well, we can inquire though. You see, that's a good thing. We can send an inquiry. You see, that's something we can do. Okay, yeah. And then maybe well, get some feedback from okay. Peter. And that okay. feedback, we're going to come and send it and send it back here and say, oh, yeah, they allowed it for one, two, three reasons. Okay. Peter. Okay. Yep. So, yeah. No, oh, man. I think that's that. I don't know. What else needs sharing? <laughs> you. Now. Let's get to you. Let's happening. get to you playing that. Yeah, so yeah, we're looking forward to obviously getting the list of the candidates. Should be interesting That's discussing I mean. the candidates, eh? It should be, it should be. Very yeah, interesting. and I'm gonna be, be, be speaking to um, uh, Anzel Lobshaw, um, uh, advocate women international Anzel Babish Lob, Lob, No, she's gonna pronounce the name for us in the uh, in, 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 in,
What happened between you, you and my Banana Mango? You were supposed to have an interview, and he said you were supposed to be having this it, this Saturday. Which <laughs> Banana? I'll talk to him. <laughs> ah, that's one of the people. Hey, Mango, he's like, let the chest speak for itself. Why is he acting like Nima now? Is he cheating? Hey, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> this why why does he want the chance to speak for himself when he can speak for his chance? <laughs> Cow, he no, wants chance yeah. to speak for himself. Hey, 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 this boy. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. So hopefully I get the yeah, yeah, chance to speak to him. Yeah, I get the chance to speak to him and uh, boom. Yeah. 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 I, I think we are way past our cut off time and thank you everybody for watching please remember to subscribe let's up the subscriptions we're on it right now we need to get to 2000 <laughs> it's so interesting but yeah so yeah for obviously to stay updated especially with the politics that are happening currently and we're hoping that then hey there's an interesting tournament that is happening from three to five as an africa-wide event as well maybe we'll need to oh, look at I it and see something about this if we can follow it yeah Ah, if we just check the lineup and see if we can report on it. Yeah, yeah, that'll be interesting. I hear Vicky Magu is involved in organizing that one because it's obviously going to be in Houting. And the chief arbiter would be international arbiter uh, Simba Simbaresh Muremi. Simba Muremi. Yes. So, and uh, international arbiter Marius Ferreira is also involved in there. So, mm -hmm. Some of the two um, arbiters I consult with whenever I have challenges, even the challenge that I had in the in, in MLS, those are the people that I, con I contacted. But anyway, nice. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, nice. All right. So that's going to be an interesting event. We'll try and follow it up. Yep. All right. We're signing Chess off. Signing off from Chess Radar.